What's up my baddie babes? It's your girl Brianna S and I'm back with you with another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to start your own lash business for all the baddies that want to start a little business or whatever. If you're interested, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get right into the video. Okay baddies, so I have my notes right here. I have a lot to discuss, so it's very important that, you know, we stay on track with our notes. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Like people don't really talk about all that comes in with starting a business. Like people be like, just start a business and you're good. And like no, there's a lot that goes into starting a business. And it was a lot that I didn't even know until I got into it. So which is what we've been to talk about right now. So the first most important part of having a lash business is of course your brand name. What is it going to be called? So that would be like trap minx minx by kayla or whatever you want your brand name to be you need a brand name how are we going to know your brand what is your brand name right so that is the most important part you have to think about when you're starting your business is your brand name brand names can be pretty difficult because you don't want to have the same name as everybody else you kind of want to have a very unique type of brand you know what i mean like, that also brings in a lot of like customers when you have a unique you know branding and everything so it's just really important to, not just to have any type of name but to really have a name that is unique like my business name for example my business name is Brenna S Boutique and that sounds very unique because nobody has that name and the best way to know if your name is taken or not is to go on godaddy.com and you know just look up your name and see if anybody has that name which is also your domain which we'll talk about later on in the video but yeah you really want to make sure that your name is unique. the next thing you want to look for is of course a vendor so you have to look for a vendor because your vendor is where you're going to get your lashes from so your vendor could be like dh gate aliexpress like look for a vendor that you know that you can trust like i have to talk about vendors in a whole nother video because that is just a lot to just like cover when it comes to vendors it's really trial and error with every vendor like you can't just go with one vendor like you have to see what they sell get their samples and try it out for yourself and if it's good quality if you like it that's cool but you really want to make sure that you are trying different vendors and not just one because you always want to make sure you're getting the best quality for your customers so you always just want to make sure that you're having like different vendors tried out first before you like decide on one vendor. so the next topic is of course your branding you want to have really nice branding so branding is basically representing your product so you can influence customers to buy your product example of that would be like your packaging you really want bomb packaging i feel like anybody can sell lashes but if the packaging is like bomb just like you know like you just have to buy it because the packaging is cute like that's pretty much what it is like packaging is also very important you don't want to like start out with really good packaging because that can be very expensive starting out with your like box packaging is fine like we all have to start somewhere that's what i'm starting out with right now actually because i want to like stick with the box for right now the box is perfectly fine don't let anybody tell you different just start with box packaging and then once you build your clientele you can move up to like better quality packaging so promo you also have to promote your product of course because how are we going to know what you sell if we don't promote it so promoting would be like youtube facebook instagram snapchat you know social media like you have to promote your product on social media because that's how you're going to get customers so you also want to make sure when you're promoting your product you have good quality photos and videos you know really just making sure you're putting a lot of effort and time into your promotion another good thing to do for your customers is to give incentives so that's like you know a giveaway a discount throw in a free product in, in their order sometimes you know it's always good to have incentives because that's what also brings brings customers in to also make your returning customers come back so it's good to have incentives thank you card with you know like a 15 percent discount also brings that customer back into your site next thing is of course is naming your products your lashes need a name right you can leave them with their like original like numbers and everything but if you want to be more unique you want to give your lashes names so bougie lavish exotic you know stuff like that is a really good name to like add to your lashes of course you can name it however you want i'm just giving examples but you know it's really nice to have some names for your lashes because that makes them unique the next thing of course is marketing your business so i kind of already talked about this just like you know you're basically promoting your product on it 
social media so everybody can know about your brand also goes into with investing in your business which is basically paying people to promote your business i never paid anybody to promote my business because I have trust issues and I just feel like once I pay these people they're not going to promote my stuff like they just want free stuff but I know I have to like start that soon because if you don't invest in your business it's just not really going to grow like scared money don't make money you really have to start investing in your business which is doing paid promotion which is paying somebody to promote your product you also want to create a business Instagram if you can I did make mine but I feel like you don't really have to if you really don't want to you can also do a business tiktok you know stuff like that um so you have like a platform for your business so you can promote it on and yeah that's what you should also think of considering for your business as well so also you want to like register your business within the state that you live in now you can do this not so soon like if you're just starting out you don't have to do it this fast but you know it's good to do but at the same time you can wait because let's say you start your business and you just feel like uh, i'm i'm not getting any sales i'm getting discouraged i don't want to do this anymore you really don't want to have you know your business trademarked because you know we don't always know what will happen so it's just nice to know like if you really are happy with your business then yes you want to get it registered within your state just so your business can be legal but at the same time we all don't know the circumstances of what our business can do of course we know positive when it comes to our business but we just don't always know so it's just really nice just to hold on and just see what our business do first before we want to like get serious and register our business so of course you want to get a planner for your business but you really want to have like a good vision for your business what your business going to look like the vibe of your business how much is going to cost you to start your business you know etc so it's just good to have a planner so you just have everything written out see it right in front of you and it's just good to just plan so like common mistakes that i feel like is all common within the business is doing too much too fast like you just started this you don't need to be buying like 20 different inventory hey guys i'm just coming here to say that it's your business and your money you can do whatever you want with it i'm just giving my opinions and advice and you can take it however you like but yeah i just want to make sure you guys know you know you just start you want to start slow you want to be positive but we just don't know that like, we don't know what a business will do so we just want to be slow with our business first before we buy all this inventory and nothing sells i would start off with like 10 pairs of lashes see what they do and if they do good then you buy 20 pair or if, if they do good 30 pair like you just want to keep going up like that be positive and everything but we just being realistic that sometimes not everything plays out how we want we just have to make sure that we are not spending all of our money and not being too fast in the beginning but just keeping it you know slow and like we're not buying like expensive packaging and all of that stuff you want to make sure you can afford your expenses like you want to make sure you can afford your website as well like we don't want a very expensive high quality website no everybody wants to use shopify shopify is only 30 dollars a month which is you know can be pretty affordable to some people but at the end of the day shopify can be kind of expensive because because i feel like 30 dollars like if you're just starting out it's just can be a bit much i started with only a big cartel big cartel is only nine dollars a month for i think you can add up to like 50 products for like nine dollars a month i know you can add on more products for a little bit more but i don't know how much it is because right now i'm starting with only the 50 products one that's what i use you can do um shopify if you want but i feel like it is best to start slow and just try it out with big cartel if you don't like big cartel then you can go to shopify because shopify is, is actually much better than big cartel because it does have more features to really help your brand grow just to make sure you have a website because like nothing wrong with selling on instagram but i just feel like nobody really wants to buy from somebody if you have to dm them like girl just make a website like <laughs> Even Big Cartel, you can start off for free. You know, Big Cartel is literally free up to five products. So you can literally just start your business on Big Cartel for free. Like, you know, I can't speak for everybody, but being realistically, you don't DM Walmart to buy something, right? Like, I know that's different than like a big business, a small business, but you know, you just don't want to be looking unprofessional. So I just really think it's best to get a per like a website like just get a website and big cartel is pretty easy to use so you don't have to worry about like if you're not tech savvy or anything it's still pretty easy to like make a website like if i can make a website you can make a website like it's really not that hard but yeah just make sure you have a website very important as well so also you want to be able to communicate communication is very important you have to know how
how to talk to people, especially your vendors. Because if you don't know how to talk to your vendors, they will know. Trust me, they know. And they will try to tax you. So you really just want to make sure you can know how to communicate and just know how to be professional, you know? You need to know exactly what you want to tell them. You have to know exactly what you want and what you need from the vendor. Also, you want to introduce yourself and be like, Hi, my name is Jane. I own a company called Trap Minks. And I'm trying to do this blank. This is what I need. Can I see your catalog of lashes? your packaging and pricing what do you have how soon can i get it something along that line you have to be professional and yet you don't want to be too aggressive but you do want to be stern so that way they know that you mean business and you don't play about your business like for example they might mess up your order it's okay like we're all human like we're going to mess up i mean it's not okay but you have to be understanding so the next thing about like what customers might ask you are like questions like are your lashes cruelty free what kind of fumes are in your glue etc and if you don't know what you have to be like hey love i'm not 100 sure i get your contact information and get back with you shortly when i find out so you know you want to be professional like this is a business like we're not playing around here like we really mean business so you really want to be professional not only with your vendor but also with your customers and just try not to like be rude and like nasty and anything like that so shipping you want to have shipping because how else you're going to get the product to your customer so you also want to make sure you're including shipping options on your website as well you can do international or just u.s shipping i'm doing u.s shipping right now because that's like the cheapest one for me but of course i will do international once i feel like it's time for me to expand my business and reach a wider audience of customers you also need like shipping supplies of course to like ship out your product that would be like your bubble mailers your poly mailers stuff like that so yeah you need like shipping equipment to have shipped out your products also want to make sure you're getting the right size bubble mailers and poly mailers and stuff like that if you're shipping like one pair of lashes i think you only like a four by six or something like that i'm not very good of like measurements off the top of my head but just make sure you're getting the right size bubble mailer i would try to put it if not in down in the description if i can if i do remember just another thing to add to the shipping so yeah guys um that's pretty much all i can think of for right now i want to do like the basis first before i do like more like advanced type of stuff from your business because we just want to start at least start your business girl i started mine you can start yours <laughs> like don't let anybody tell you you can't start a business because you can anybody can start a business i am be real with y'all it can get kind of hard like you're, there's going to be days where you're going to be discouraged i get discouraged all the time but you have to just keep pushing like you have to keep pushing you're going to have days when nobody buys anything if not even weeks nobody buys anything like it's going to get tough like that's just what it is as a business but you still want to keep pushing don't let those like dark times bring you down because people are going to buy as long as you're promoting your business people are going to buy and then it's like if they don't buy but they yet they still follow you on social media and they're liking your stuff they still supporting your business people don't have to buy to support your business they're still supporting you by liking your content following you on your business page that's still support and we all appreciate that type of support so yeah guys that's all i can think of right now if i ever think of anything like more to add to the video i would make a part two but that's all i can think of for right now i hope y'all enjoyed please make sure to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you won't miss any videos i upload on this channel and yeah i hope y'all have a great day and i'll see you in the next one